Welcome back to Today we're going to prep some cauliflower rice. Let's get it. Alright guys, to start off this recipe here, well we're not making a recipe, we're just, this is a like how-to video on how to make uh, cauliflower rice. Uh, we basically have a one head of cauliflower here, um, and we uh, took it out and cored it as we've done in previous videos, just cut around the stem to take off the core, remove any green leaves or anything you see around that, and then basically just cut this up into smaller pieces. Uh, we're using a food processor here, so we're basically just cutting up into small enough pieces that will fit into our food processor uh, lid. If you have a hand grater, you can do that as well. Just basically just cut up the pieces in your hand and just grate, grate it with a cheese grater. Here we are uh, placing the cauliflower into uh, our food processor. Uh, we have my son Shade in here helping me out as well. And just basically just put it all into the shredder and it'll shred out by itself. And um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Um, just shred it. Just basically just take a whole head of cauliflower and shred it. That's it. Cauliflower rice. Um, now this food processor, it did shred our pieces down pretty fine. Uh, finer than what you would normally see when you buy cauliflower rice from the store. But it's still the same thing. It'll just be smaller little grains as you normally see. Um, here's a close up of what the cauliflower look like. Um, you can see it's, it's finally grated, but some of them pieces right here look like little shreds like this right here. Um, I noticed what that how that happened was um, when I cut the cauliflower up, I left the stems and the stalks on it. Um, but if you cut off the stem portion and just use the florets, uh, you'll get a nice uh, cauliflower rice pebbles or shreds. But if you get down to the stem, the stock portion, you'll see that's where it starts to get a little streamlined. Looks like pieces of cheese in there, but it all works fine. Now that first piece, that was just one one bag of cauliflower. Um, I had four heads of cauliflower, so I shredded all up, and I was actually able to fit it all in this one freezer bag. And this is a, a bag that's packed to the brim. I basically have to keep smashing it down in order to get it all into the bag. But um, I weighed this up, and this weighed about. Uh, almost six pounds, about uh, five pounds and like 12 ounces, very close to six pounds. And I got all this, this cauliflower was on sale for like two for a dollar. And so it was four, I got four heads of cauliflower and basically this was a total price of two bucks. Basically the same price that you would normally pay for uh, well basically one bag of cauliflower rice. Uh, I know at Walmart, they sell uh, their Walmart brand, like a 10 ounce bag is a dollar 99. Um, and bird's eye or the different brands those are up to like 249 or 299 for the 10 ounce bag of cauliflower rice so i mean if you have if you can or have the time or are able to i would definitely say shred your cauliflower rice yourself um just take a head of cauliflower and just shred it with a cheese grater and it shreds very easy because it's hard and hardy and it, it'll, it'll shred very easy with the cheese grater if you have a food processor that makes it even easier um it'll just shred down itself you can also do this i've done this in a blender um, I've done this in a Ninja Blender, I've done it in, in, in a, uh, a neutral bullet Blender. Uh, you just have to just pulse it and just, just uh, you might have to keep pushing it down along the sides, but you don't, you wouldn't have to use a cheese grater to do it. So there's multiple different ways to do it. You just keep shredding it down to the, your, your fine, your liking of it, and you're good to go. Um, again, this was a quick recipe, or let's keep right recipe. This is a quick video just to show you how to make cauliflower rice. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy and please subscribe and join. Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.